everyone. Um, right, today I've had some happy mail. Woohoo! <laughs> I entered um, a postcard swap um, a few weeks ago with the Enchanted Imaginarium, and my swap partner was Deb Coombs, um, who's a fantastic artist. You ought to Google her, she does amazing stuff. But this is what um, my postcard that I received from Deb. Absolutely love it. The theme um, was either birds or cats. And she chose cats, I chose birds. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy with that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. So another piece of artwork that will take uh, pride of place on my wall. Anyway, put that to one side. Um, for those of you who saw my... Um, art journal prompts video yesterday. Um, some of you may have noticed that I had quite a lot of leftover paint on my palette. I absolutely love it. Um, that was just one with a mixture of all the different colours that, that I had and um, I just scraped it on with, um, hang on, let me just have a look and see if I can find it. Look at this, this has become my dumping ground of stuff that I can't be bothered to put away. How lazy is that? So I just grabbed the paint off my palette and just scraped it on like so. And, um, and that's really pretty. I got that one there with the um, orange and yellow and a tiny bit of green. That one was with the um, two shades of green, the grass green and the olive. And there's a little bit of blue in there. And I did that one in two different directions. That one's just the two shades of blue. And again, I just love the scratchy marks that that one's got in it. And the texture, you can't see it on screen, but it's just lovely. And I love this one, the purple and the olive green. Um, I just think that's really, really cool. So there was the lighter um, lavender purple, the dark purple, and then um, that um, green, just beautiful. So I'm amassing quite a collection of all these painted papers and I just love looking at them. But that one is by far my favourite. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, um, oh, in fact, I'll show you these before I show you the other, the other thing. Yesterday I started playing around. I had seen, oh gosh, I can't remember whether it was Facebook or, or YouTube, somebody um, that was using watercolour markers on a plastic bag and they were just literally scribbling on with the watercolour markers, spraying with a spray bottle of water and then mopping the papers up. And look at these. I just love these too. And of course it's warped the paper, which I just absolutely love. I just love that crinkly sound that, um, that these make. So I've got those, which I will have to do something with. Absolutely love those. And then, a couple of weeks ago, um, in fact, it was when I went to the scrap store, I purchased some marbling um, inks and um, I had a go at paper marbling. I want to have a proper try at paper marbling, the, the proper way um, using, um, oh gosh, the special stuff that you use to coat the paper so, um, so that the ink actually sticks to it. I have got some and I can't think for the life of me what it's... Um, what it's alum that's it alum and my alum has now arrived i just need to go and get some um paper i think i'm going to use wallpaper lining paper to do it i need to go down to the hardware store so look out for that one i will be trying that but these are just done with the marbling inks and although the patterns have turned out really pretty let me just flick through through some of these i mean that one's really really pretty that one's with some of the metallic um, inks. From the scrap store, these were just over three pounds for a pack of six. So for 10 pounds, I got three sets in all the, all the colors. So very, very reasonable. Um, this was the neon colors. And I had a bit of an accident. The lid, they're on sort of like um, a squirty nozzle. Let me just go and get them and I'll show you. I'll be back in right. a second. They come in a box like this. Um, they're the Scholar brand that, um, that I bought. And these are the fluorescent ones. And they come in a pack of six, like so. That's the pink. You have to give them a good old, good old shake. And then they've got sort of like a pointy nozzle. Um, and the nozzle blocked and so when I finally got it working I was sort of dipping a pin um, into the nozzle end and when I squirted it into the water far too much came out and so these ones I didn't really get the marbling um, effect too much um, because of the amount that I squeezed and the thing that I don't like about these is that these are obviously mixed with some kind of oil probably vegetable oil and I can't bear the smell Oh, it smells horrible and I don't like the feel 
of it either. Now, whether I can go over it with my furniture wax, um, I don't know. And maybe spray it with perfume, something to get rid of the smell. I don't know. I should have to think of something. Um, but they are quite, um, quite pretty. You can see the marbling there. And then that one's really, really pretty. So let me just flick through some of these. That one's pretty as well. These are the metallic ones. I got the fluorescent, the metallic, and just the, the standard colours. That's another metallic one. There we go. I think these are the, the standard, standard colours. I think I'd need to be a bit more careful about my colour choices. I threw, threw everything at that one, as you can see. That one's quite pretty. But there we go. So some really that that's another metallic one. So some very pretty, pretty papers. But as I say, I do want to have a go at um, proper marbling with the um, alum. I forgot, the, forgot the name of it again. But today I um, am inspired by Kelly Donovan's video. She has just um, put up a video doing stenciling and um, well, not really marbling, although I bought my shaving foam to do marbling. Kelly has done, used it with stencils and all kinds of things and it's inspired me. I've had this sitting here for two weeks waiting for me to give it a try. Um, and so because of um, Kelly, I'm going to, to give it a go. So I'm going to switch off now, get myself organised and then come back and spray some foam. See you in a minute. Right, I've got all my bits and pieces at the ready. So what you're going to need is some paper. Bear with me. I've grab some black as well that I left on the on the floor I'm going to try it on black and white paper this is just um good quality typing paper this is slightly thicker than the really cheap stuff this is just black cardstock um and then for the paints that I'm going to use I'm going to use um these cheap fabric spray paints that I got from the works these came in a pack of eight I'll just move that so here they are. These are neon colours. There's not much left in these. My eldest son and his friend decided they wanted to get crafty um, a few weeks ago and they got, grabbed all my stencils and a pack each of these spray paints and they started decorating white t-shirts. I must show you. Um, I'll have to dig them out of um, Alex's bedroom because they were really cool. They were going to wear them to the Brit Awards. They didn't in the end, but um, that was what they were making them for. So that's what I'm going to use for my colour. Let me just roll my sleeves up. So give the old shaving foam a good... Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, oh blimey. And then I've got a ruler here that I'm going to use as sort of like a spatula. As Kelly said, it's like icing a cake. I think that's probably a good enough surface. Let me just put that to one side. And then I'm just going to start spraying some of these. There you go, Betsy Doodle, this is definitely one for you because I know that you've got a set of these spray paints. So if you haven't used them already, <laughs> this is what you can do with them. And then I'm going to go in with some blue. And then I'm going to switch off a second because I, f I wanted to grab some stencils and I now, forgot. First them. of all, I'm just going to, I've got, this is just a paintbrush. So I'm using the tip of my paintbrush just to make some swirls. In fact, Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. And in fact, I'm going to stop there before I mess mess things up. What have I done with all my paper? Oh, here it is. It's all buried. Right. Oh, 
very pretty. And I'm just going to stack these up for a minute and then I shall clean them off later. Let's, I'm going to Very pretty. And then let's try one with um, with a stencil. Now tr Kelly tried one with a with a stencil, and it all came out back to front. So I'm going to stick mine down back to front so that hopefully it'll come out the right way. And in fact, I'm going to try this with um, some black. Let's try two pieces because mine's quite narrow. And I'm just going to press. Press down. Awesome. And in fact, actually, I'm going to pause this and just put a mat out on my carpet so that um, I'm running out of space on my desk.
Right, here we go, all cleared up. For those of you who are put off trying this because of the, the mess, don't be. It was so easy to, to clear up. I've been putting it off for two weeks because I thought, oh, it's going to make a mess everywhere. And it's such cheap technique. That was 90p and I've used a fraction of it. Um, that was just the value one um, from the local supermarket. Um, but here's some of the papers. These are really pretty, but um, on the black cardstock, it's difficult to um, see the pattern. Um, so that's a shame. Um, the alphabet one worked worked better with the Dilusions, Diane Reevely stencil. So that's those. Um, but look at some of these. They're really pretty. And the paper is not too wet either. It's just a little bit damp. Um, but that's fine. And there we go, that's it. So, um, shaving foam prints. Hope you liked it. See you all again soon. Take care.